I've been coming across a lot of believers who either don't believe in the fact that God is triune or don't quite understand what it means for him to be triune. And so because it's important for us to have a foundational understanding of the very nature of God, I'm going to try and break it down as simply as possible. In the beginning, when God said, come, let us make man in our image and likeness, a lot of people oftentimes take that to simply mean how we look. But it's actually more than that. Our very composition is as a representation of God's very nature. And so every individual is born with a mind, a body, and a spirit. And in that way, every element that makes up a person is represented in the triune God. Our minds are a representation of God the Father. We know that God the Father is the one who utters a word, makes a command. And if you look at the very nature of the mind, the brain, even though you may have the physical ability to do something, if your mind, if your brain is in a vegetative state, you are physically incapable of actually carrying out any task because you're incapable of thinking. In the same way, God the Son is equally important because he was represented by the body. We can have an active mind, however, it is our body that carries out that task, which is why he's also talked about as being the word of God made into flesh. He is the one who actually carries out the will of God in the physical Finally, the Holy Spirit is represented in our spirits as well. We know scripture tells us that the flesh is against the spirit and the spirit is against the flesh. People oftentimes take this to mean our physical bodies, but no, our flesh is just a representation of our nature, our nature of wanting to do what pleases us. And sometimes what pleases us dishonors the Father. And so our spirits naturally crave the things of God in the same way the Holy Spirit craves to do the work of God, which is to teach us and guide us in the ways of our Father and the ways of Jesus Christ. And so the same way that God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit work together in unison to carry out God's will is the same way that all elements of our body that are representatives of God himself also work together to carry out God's will on earth. Be blessed.